Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Okay, today just a short video. I'm going to attempt to install some carbon in the interior of my car. Okay, so this is the carbon I've got. I've got a steering wheel cover. I've got part of the center console. Another part of the center console. This goes around the gear shift lever. And the tools I'm using to install that are some alcohol, a cloth, and a heat gun. That's it. Now I've done a few of these before. I've got a video where I put some on inside the car already, but this is going to be the final amount that's going to make a difference. Now, this carbon is from China. It is not the most expensive. That is for sure. But I think it's going to dress up the interior quite well. Okay, here we are. The beautiful interior of the GR86 was actually is pretty nice just stock but as you can see I've added some carbon here some carbon around the air ducts here some carbon around the heater controls down here and this is sort of um, a basically a carbon a flexible carbon with a uh, epoxy clear epoxy over it that gives it the rounded edges which I think looks kind of cool Kind of cool. Now for here, I've already put these two pieces on. This is not real carbon. This is uh, printed plastic, and I thought it looked okay. But after comparing it to the the flexible carbon that I have up here, which I think looks really good, also over here on the doors, I want to switch this out and put in the real carbon. So can you tell the difference? Hmm. Hmm. Not really sure how much better it is, but this is real carbon. Of course, this is not flexible carbon. This is your dry carbon shell with a, a coating of a clear coating on top, glossy. So how am I going to get the old one off, this old piece of plastic? So I'm going to heat it up with heat gun and see if I can get it off. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, there you go. Uh, Okay, this is gonna go right like that. Somehow, I don't know how it's gonna fit in. Wow. Yeah, there's gonna be a technique for putting this on, that's for sure. Well, I guess it might be best if we take off the entire airbag, which is a bigger operation than I was prepared for. But yeah, that might be the way. I got it fitting in here. It fits underneath the airbag. That's gonna look good if I ever get that in there. Thing is, how are you going to do this when you have all the tape off to make it stick? That's going to be really quite hard. I think you're going to have to take off. You're going to have to take off the airbag, to be honest. Now, I know this does come off, <laughs> but you got to be careful. You're going to have to undo the battery. And there's a special way that these pop off. But yeah, you gotta make sure the battery is disconnected because you wouldn't want this to go off in your face. Oh, yeah. This looks good. Yeah, this is gonna look real good. Okay, let's see if I can get this off. You gotta be careful with this heat gun. <laughs> real careful. Because too much heat will wreck things, melt the plastic. Lots of bad things will happen. Well, it seems to have worked pretty good. That came off real easy. Yeah. Yeah, well, that came off pretty easy. Well, this one's coming up too. Okay, that wasn't hard at all. A little bit of alcohol will get rid of any oils, any finger oils. So these items are already pretty clean as it is. This will just increase the adhesion possibilities, how we say. Surfaces are now disinfected with alcohol. So let's heat up. I'm just gonna heat up these surfaces. Now it's not strictly necessary because it's not really that cold a day today, but I'm still gonna heat up everything. That's gonna promote adhesion, I believe. It's a little scary. 
A little scary. I'm gonna do it all at once. <laughs> Everywhere, everyone, everything at once. That's what it's gonna be for me. Everything at once. Everything at once. Okay, well, it could have gone a little further forward. And it certainly doesn't fit perfect, but there you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That looks good. At least from my position here, it's not bad. It doesn't go all the way down into the very edges. It doesn't go all the way to the very front. And it's a little off on the side here. But you know what? I'm going to say for the price I paid, I'll put a link where you can get these, by the way. For the price I paid, I'm saying this is a win. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, I we just simply put it straight down. We simply put it straight I was going to say, that looks, that looks okay. Okay, the only remaining piece to do is this, and that's going to be the hardest one to do. Got to disconnect the airbag. Okay, wait a full 10 minutes before you work on this airbag to make sure there's no residual electricity lurking around the car. Electricity, nothing's working. Okay. Now there's these little access holes. See, it's got a little slot. You can get your screwdriver in there and take these out. And there's one on the other side as well that you can take out. And once you get these out, like that, it's out. Okay and do the same thing on this side i've already done it then you can see that there's a little <clears throat> a little slot right here and a wire you're going to pull that up and that's going to release one of the bolts that holds the airbag in but there's one here there's one here there's one there so that means that this is the easy one the other ones are up up here on this side and then up here on this side and if we push on this and at the same time you can see that the airbag is now loose because I moved the pin on the bottom okay oh, let's take a look inside oh there's the pin can you see that there's the pin okay now I got two that are loose uh, how do I get my head down here I don't see how I can. I might have to do this one blind. Okay, let's go from below. Okay. Oh, man. Can you see? Oh, I see the pin. I see the pin. I don't know if you can see. I really only hope that you can. Okay. I did it. Uh, sorry. I kind of blocked your view. <clears throat> okay, so now you know. That is how you remove the airbag on a 2022 GR86. Now I believe it's the same procedure for earlier cars and of course the BRZ. So from 2017 up, I believe same procedure. You got these two access holes and then you just have to move those wire clips. You got one, two, and three, but look at what I've done. Yes. Yes, now. Of course, you still gotta be careful at this point. But for now, let's see if I can just put this up here because I don't need to, for what I'm doing right now, I don't need to disconnect these wires at all. But of course, if you were going to replace your whole steering wheel, you would have to disconnect these wires. This comes off easy. There's two clips right here. Well, maybe I'll just show you. Okay, first step, 
simply remove this negative. Okay, that didn't come off easy, but there you go. And then you can see there's little arrows right here. These clips have to come up like that and like that. Don't just pull on them. You got to get these two clips up. Now they can be taken off like that. That's one. Black goes with black and then orange goes with orange. I have now removed the airbag. And now with the airbag removed, you can easily see where the clips were that I had to move to get them out. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Now, if you're going to replace your steering wheel, you would undo this bolt and carefully remove it. So I removed that airbag, went through all that trouble just so I could have easy access to install my carbon, which I'm gonna install right here like that. With the airbag out, it's easy to put this on, or will be easy to put this on. As you can see, you put it on, sticky, put the airbag on, it's gonna be great. Okay, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is clean the surfaces with a little bit of alcohol. They're not really dirty anyway. Just got this car not too long ago, so everything is in pretty good shape. I haven't even driven very much because it has been winter. And I'm just cl quickly cleaning these surfaces. There we go. Okay. This long one can come off. There you go. The moment of truth has arrived. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, is that going in? I think it is. Oh, this one has got to bend up a little bit. Okay. All right, so just press it in place. Everything seems to be fitting good. This one, the only thing I got a problem with, it seems to, should go up a little higher. Apply some heat. Maybe that'll help. And let's just push it into place. Yeah. Okay, that might do it. So I'm just gonna hold that for a bit. Okay, there you go. The carbon is in. Now, let's put the airbag back on. Our delicate and rather expensive airbag has got to go back on. So the first thing to do is exact opposite of what I did before. Connect the orange to orange and push it down, connect the black to black, and push it down, push it down, okay, till it's flush, and then push in the pins. Push in one, now, now it's locked in place. Now we get our negative, and we just put it right back onto our little connector right there. Rotate our airbag, line it up, we're lining up with we're lining up our little spring-loaded clips with this hole, this hole, and this hole on the bottom. Let's just put it in gently, and it'll sort of feel right, yes. Sort of feel right, and then push it in like so. Oh, yes! And look at how neatly that fits over the carbon. Let's just just look at the carbon while we're here. Oh, nice. That looks, I gotta say, aside from maybe from the back side, that looks very professional. Wow. That looks like it came from the factory. <laughs> nice. What an upscale experience this is. Look at this. I'm liking this, especially this piece. I think this piece is worth the money right there. Okay, I'm calling this worthwhile. And as you can see, uh, taking the airbag out was not hard. The only thing left to do is to put these little access plates back in. They just snap in like that. Okay, the only thing left to do now is reconnect the negative terminal onto the battery. And then 
everything should be ready to go. So this is probably my final bit of carbon. Well, maybe I'll get more, but anyway, let's look at what I've got. Driver's side of carbon. We got carbon around the radio, entertainment area. We got carbon around the air vents. This one's not so good. It's got a few defects, not perfect. Carbon around the HVAC controls, carbon around the gear shift, and carbon on the center console, right where your traction control buttons are and your heated seat buttons. Really nice. And of course, carbon for the driver's side window controls. Really nice. But of course, this is the best so far. The carbon on the steering wheel, which really upgrades the look my opinion i love this steering wheel this just makes me love it more all right there you go i think the carbon looks awesome uh relatively inexpensive again i'll put a link below i think you should do it i really do anyway thanks for watching photo mike's garage i will see you next time